This is tutorial number seven, and we will be covering the basic extrude loft through SolidWorks. To start off, let's open up a part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to create a loft, an extruded loft within SolidWorks, we need to make two sketches, which are on two planes, which are parallel to one another. So to start off, let's sketch something on the front plane, click front plane, click sketch, click circle, and let's bring it to the right, to the left, and make it go to the origin. Click OK, and let's make this circle 50 millimeters. Click OK, click OK. Now, to make the second sketch, click the front plane, click isometric view, and zoom out. And we're going to make a front plane that's parallel to that plane come out a bit more, and we're going to draw a sketch on there. To do that, we have to insert, click Insert, Reference Geometry, click Plane. And as you can see, the yellow plane is the one that we're going to put in, and it's parallel to the front plane. Now, we are able to make it farther from the front plane, closer to the front plane. It's up to us. We are also able to reverse the direction of which way we want it to go. For this one, let's make it 100 millimeters. Click Enter. Click OK. Now we've created another plane. Now click Front View. And let's sketch on this plane. Click Circle. Go to the left of the origin. And for this one, let's make a circle that's bigger. Click the origin. And we'll make this circle 100 millimeters. Click OK. Now go into your isometric view, and you can see that we have two sketches which are parallel to one another. And what the lofted base feature is going to do is create an extrude between these two sketches. So let's click lofted base, click the two profiles, and as you can see, that's our sketch and that's going to be the extrude that we're going to get from the two. Now click OK, and we have our extruded loft. Now once again we're able to manipulate this extrude through the sketches. So let's open up the loft, let's edit sketch 1, click edit sketch. Using smart dimension, let's make this circle smaller. Let's make the circle 20 millimeters. Click OK, and now it's rebuilded to that. Now, this concludes our tutorial.